Hi all, welcome to day 24 of Advent of Elixir. Today is gonna to be a short one. I'm gonna talk about OTP's DNS server. Uh, did you know that OTP ships with a way to perform DNS queries? It's relatively easy, and so let's go for it. The module in question that we're gonna use is one called INET Res. And I don't know how to remember that, except for maybe that res, I believe, is short for DNS resolver. Here we're gonna, uh, here's a list of all the exported functions that exist in this module. Um, and we're gonna take a look at two of them, get host by adder and get host by name. So let's do get host by name. And if we try to do something like this, it's not gonna work. We're gonna get a fairly unhelpful error, form error. The reason why this happens is because it is an Erlang function and many Erlang functions prefer to take a char list instead of a binary. So I'm gonna send a char list over there. And here we get a result. Okay, uh, this is a record, a host entry record. Um, Google.com is the, is the, uh, is the uh, host. This is an IPv4 address, and we got 172.27.1.238. Okay, so let's also check uh, get host by adder. And this one works by passing a four tuple, which is the IP address, or sorry, the uh, um, the IP address, yeah. So, for example, as an old sysadmin, I might remember that 8.8.8 .8 is Google's DNS uh, resolver, and we in fact get DNS.Google as the as the host. Although I believe that this is new. This, for to me, anyways, I think this is the top level domain that Google purchased with the name Google. And another one, if you don't like Google seeing what. DNS queries you're making. 1.1.1.1 is Cloudflare's and it's famously named 1.1.1.1. Also an IPv4 host entry with 1111. All right, let's do a dig on google.com and just see if it gives a reasonably close answer. And here you see when we did a dig on google.com, it returned 172.217.1.238. It's important to remember that it's possible for these two queries to return different answers because Google operates a whole ton of different DNS name servers for, uh, for, its, um, for its hosts. So that's it. Um, if you, uh, I hope you enjoyed the series so far. Um, we've got one more day and I will see you tomorrow.